So we all know ChatGPT is the smartest AI in the world, but have you ever wondered if it could run a business? Well, buckle your seatbelts because today we're gonna find out. And what better company to play as than a household name all around the world? That's right, today we're playing as IKEA. So if you guys missed my last video, first off, what are you doing? Go watch it. Not only was it heart-wrenching and tragic, but it'll kind of explain to you how this works. If you're lazy like me, let me give you the brief rundown. Yep, so last time, what we did was we simulated a country based off of its ruler. So if it was a landowner, it usually wanted to stay traditional. Uh, same with its ideology and their traits and everything. But today, ChatGPT is, has one sole purpose. Their sole purpose is to create the biggest IKEA in the entire world. Now this is the basic rundown, pretty much all you'll need to know for this video. As always, our story begins in 1836. This handsome French-Swedish king had a dream one night. It was a dream of an empire, but not just any empire. I am the Swedish king and I love meatballs. My table! What the? And that was how IKEA was born. The first order of business was to inform ChatGPT exactly what was going on in the world. Trade agreement with, with uh, Prussia. I won't read everything because it's a little long, but I'll summarize it. Basically, ChatGPT's entire existence is to expand IKEA. But you may be asking, Chum, how do we do it? Well, after balancing the budget, ChatGPT's first order was to build construction sectors. After all, the faster we can build the factories, the better. But before we could get to those factories, we needed wood. Ooh, we have... Ooh, look at this. Scandinavian forest, 20%. 20%. So it turns out the frozen forests of Scandinavia were rich in wood. Sure, the trees were useless now. ChatGPT had a plan to turn them into money. Wow, there's a lot of logging it's goodness we can get. Yeah, we also want to improve with some countries. Just so we can trade with them. Trade into the big markets. We're going to create the biggest IKEA the world has ever seen. And so Sweden, famed for their lush forests, began to expand their logging camps all across Scandinavia. To outsiders, it may not have seemed like much, but for Sweden, this was the start of something beautiful. Also, here's our current GDP, current literacy rate, current uh, standard of living, current population. So we want to see that increase with our uh, furniture factories going well. So while logging camps were being built, the king ordered tooling workshops to be constructed across the entire country. Once the workshops were underway, the first IKEA was planned in Svealand. I hope that's how you pronounce it. You see, not only were the tools for the logging camps, but for the IKEAs as well. And just like real life, ChatGPT wanted to focus on affordable furniture. And so, we didn't build luxuries. Yet. Now as the Swedes were busy expanding their businesses, something tragic happened. Uh, the king died. Our beloved French-Swedish king has passed away from a stroke late in the night. Now his French-born son, Oscar, has risen to the throne. Why does he look so young? He's 39. Dude, his nose, bro. Is this a real dude? He's romantic. He's French. <laughs> My father has passed away. I am so sad. Ooh la la. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Romantic and French? Adds up. Unsurprisingly, King Oscar recovered quickly after his father's death. And the first IKEA is being built here in Sevilland. It's not really a company yet, so I guess it's not IKEA yet. Oh my, okay. Oh, that is good. Just a few weeks later, the first IKEA was built in Svealand. Yes, I learned that's how you pronounce it. Immediately, IKEA was a hit. 
People from all over the capital flocked to Ikea to try to get a chance at working here. Look at this beautiful, beautiful manufactory. But now Ikea had another problem. There was no demand for furniture. Crazy, who wouldn't want Ikea stuff? But I guess it's hard when you only have a country of about two people. And so, by ChatGPT's orders, we began trading with the Americans. Yep, and now the price of furniture has gone back up, which is good. We want the price of furniture to go up. Now with the new American demand for IKEA products, we began to create more IKEA factories. How are they looking? Oh yeah, we're gonna produce a ton of jobs. The next few years were filled with rapid IKEA expansion. Hey, we're almost at a thousand now. It's, it's getting more productive. IKEA was 18,000 employees strong. With the construction of the fifth IKEA, business was booming. And then we realized there was too much furniture and we were giving it away for free. Ha, 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 choo. Man, it's been raining a lot of furniture lately. Yay, more free furniture. The truth was we were building too much furniture and we didn't have enough boats to send them out. The fact was something had to be done and something had to be done fast. Stra strategic shift to luxury furniture. So the plan was set. IKEA was no longer just gonna be an affordable furniture store, but a luxury brand. Gucci? <laughs> IKEA. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that was so bad. On January 18th, 1842, IKEA created its first luxury line. Looks like now. Oh my! Oh, never mind. <laughs> So the reception of the IKEA designer tables weren't too great at the beginning. At this point, we were paying people to buy our tables. As an Austrian man with a funny mustache once said when he needed oil, when in doubt, Russia will bail you out. But with a bit of sweet talk, we were able to find some buyers in Russia. Let's see how it's doing. Oh my, yeah, a lot more money. Business was booming. We kept expanding. The king began a nationwide construction project for ports all across Sweden. After all, to be able to ship a lot of furniture, we needed a lot of convoys. Where should we expand our trade to? But the answer to that question came in an unexpected way. Uh, let's ask ChatGPT. Fantastic news! By securing a trade agreement with Great Britain, IKEA can gain access to a sophisticated market with a strong appreciation for quality designs. Let's accept. Ew. With a whole new market wanting IKEA products, the king ordered a massive expansion of IKEA factories. Uh, predicted earnings per week. So let's get up to 10 so we can create a company. And unsurprisingly, it was a hit. So much so that the king decided to focus a lot more on his luxury line. The British, known for their exquisite tastes, loved it. Yeah, look, look at our GDP. After we started, uh, we expanded our luxury line. Look at the GDP shot up, that tiny spike right there. Yeah, it's pretty good, this tiny spike. But wood is very expensive. Ooh, Russia wants a trade agreement. Yep. Taking that. Yeah, basically ChatGPT wants to take to make as many trade agreements as possible. So let's import our wood from Russia. And so a beautiful plan was established. We turn Russian wood into furniture for them. Well look at our productivity though. 24th most productive in the world. I don't think that's Mexico. Look at this tiny village. People actually live here in real life, that's crazy. In the north. Dude, look at this. People actually live here. That's crazy. That would seem so cold. Is that the northernmost city in the world? Private. Okay, private healthcare is. Oh my gosh, look at the productivity. And we now have private health insurance. Which, for a country of two people, is very nice. And for the next many years, IKEA continued to expand like this. We are now in the British market. 
31. Expanding Ikea, boys. Yep, and here's our population breakdown. Yeah, there's a lot of excess uh, money. So standard living, standard of living trend is going up. Look at our GDP. Our GDP has been shooting up. All right, perfect. We now have private schooling. As it was, IKEA was on top of the world. Not only did IKEA bring affordable furniture to the world, it brought jobs, wealth, culture, identity. Sweden, once a poor country, was now industrializing because of all of the furniture. The people were living good. Within the span of 30 years, IKEA turned Sweden into one of the most comfortable, wealthiest countries to live in. Okay, so my game just kept crashing and I couldn't fix it, so we're gonna have to end here. If you guys liked it, subscribe.